What's up folks, Ethan here at Hunt Ford in Franklin, Kentucky, and today we're taking a look at this regular cab truck because it has Ford's newest engine option for the 2023 Super Duty. This truck is pretty bare bones. It is an XL350 regular cab with the long bed. It is four wheel drive, but it has the 6.8 liter gas V8 engine option. So as you can see here, it is pretty bare bones and it stickers for right around $51,000. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our GoPro and take this thing for a quick test drive to see how this new engine works. If you have any questions about this truck or any other truck that we've featured on the channel since we've gotten it, let us know down in the comments, as well as if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so down below and hit the notification bell so that as we post more of these trucks, you'll be the first one to see it. So this truck can haul a total of 5,004 pounds of cargo, three passengers in the front with the bench seat in the middle. All right, so we are on the inside of this F350 XL. This truck does have the new 6.8 liter gas V8. So this is going to be mated with a 10 speed transmission. And this is kind of my first thoughts and initial first test at driving this engine. We'll get the seat scooted around here for us short folks. It's gonna have around 405 horsepower and about 445 pound-feet of torque. My tech that did the initial pre-delivery inspection says he thinks it's pretty peppy, he likes it. A little better than the older 6.2. So this is going to replace that old standard 6.2 liter gas V8 that had been in the Super Duty lineup for a long time. This engine is actually only available on XL models. Because once you bump up into that XLT, you are going to be given that standard option of a 7.3 gas Godzilla V8. It is interesting, I commented on a video recently about another XL truck that we had on the lot about how it's incredible to me that this is now the standard screen. This used to be the big limited screen on these trucks way back when, and that only had SYNC 3. Now you've got a base model $50,000 work truck with SYNC 4 and the old big screen. So I think that's kind of impressive. I uh, am surprised to see how much improvement they've made in technology over the last five years. Once we get the green light here, I'll pipe down a little bit to let you all hear the sound of this engine. Apologies, looks like my phone took a tumble. Uh, pretty peppy. I am, you know, always pretty surprised with these base engines feel like Ford does a pretty good job. You know, 400 horsepower is certainly not anything to slouch at. This truck weighs, you know, significantly less than most of the trucks in the Super Duty lineup. It's very bare bones. There isn't, you know, a lot of weight associated with the actual vehicle and the engine doesn't weigh as much in general. So it's gonna have a lot less weight to move. Ideally, this truck will make a really good 
work truck, construction truck. We're thinking maybe a meteor reader, something that's gonna not need a ton of capability, but the ability to haul quite a few things around, but keep that overall cost pretty low. As you can see here, this truck is equipped with the auxiliary buttons. Will allow a few different options for how this truck will be ultimately set up down the road. You do have the big tow mirrors. But in general, this engine does drive pretty well. We feel like for it being the budget engine in this lineup it's certainly nothing that should be slouched at again it's only offered on that xl lineup on the single rear wheels we're at another stop here so i'll give you another kind of take off to listen to yeah pretty pretty powerful for what it is you know it's only around 400 405 horsepower this is not going to be a towing monster of a truck. It's purely going to move people and equipment in the bed of the truck or in the truck itself. That's primarily what it's going to be used for. And so far my initial impression says it's gonna be really good at that. As always, we'd love to hear your all's opinion. But I do feel like this is a pretty good improvement over the 6.2 liter. Now, it always remains to be seen to see how this drives long term with the kind of reliability or the kind of maintenance will look like on this vehicle. But also, this is only really the third or fourth six eights we've had on the lot. It does sound pretty good. It would be interesting to see Ford release this as a engine down the road in some sort of crate variety but we're overall pretty impressed with the engine options and the trucks in general on the 2023 model year for the super duties as always if you have any questions let us know down in the comments so that we can answer them down there or take a look at them in future videos I will, once I get stopped, give you a quick peek at the payload sticker so that you can kind of see what this truck will be capable of hauling. Again, that payload number does include passengers and cargo, but it'll give you a pretty good idea of this truck's capability. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. As always, thanks for taking a little time to watch today's video. We always appreciate it. That's about all I've got for you today, folks. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Super Duty videos coming down the line. Other than that, we'll catch you later.